Tabletop Mountain presiding over the city of Cape Town. And Newlands, a spectacular venue for Tri-Nations Match 2. Capacity of the ground is just under 50,000. But surprisingly, the Springboks don't have a great record here against the All Blacks. They have won just two from seven. Hello and welcome to this match between South Africa and New Zealand. It's the fiercest rivalry in international rugby. The box coming off a very good double match victory over Australia with the wins in Ellis Park and also Pretoria. But their opponents on the other hand well rested. The All Blacks having a 3-0 series whitewash against the British and Irish Lions. Let's have a look at the New Zealand team. And Carl Heyman comes in after missing the second and third tests against the Lions. Also an outstanding second row combination of Jack and Williams. And the man they have to watch is Richie McCaw at number seven. Kelleher and Carter have been a revelation in the halves. And looking at the New Zealand bench... Well, interestingly, down the bottom there, Rokothoko has won his way back into the side. Dougie Hallett has missed the squad in South Africa. And Somerville played the second and third test matches against the British and Irish Lions. Well, you speak to any South African and they will tell you that the All Blacks are their greatest rivals. There's a huge respect for the men in black. Skipper John Smith. They performed extremely well against the Lions. Um, yeah, it, it, you can debate as much as you like as to how, how good or bad you think the Lions team was, but the Lions are still chosen out of five nations. Um, that alone speaks volumes in terms of how the, the New Zealanders overcame them in that series. So they're a top side. They rank number one in the world. Um, they keep on showing their class, and uh, they will be the side to beat this year. And here's the South African side. Three changes from the team downed Australia in Pretoria last week. Oz Durant, who played in the 1995 World Cup final, comes back in at number one in the front row. And also Van Niekerk reverts to number eight with Berger coming in at number six. And January is the only change in the back line. And uh, a very crucial bench for South Africa tonight. Remember, they haven't lost at home under Jake White. Shumunga will be the backup hooker. Fundenberg has been taking most of the training this week with Matt Field's ankle injury. And all in all, quite a bit of experience bench for South Africa. There is quite a swirling breeze at Newlands, uh, which is going to uh, play havoc, I think, uh, once the ball gets up high. But uh, certainly South Africa will be aiming to kick uh, over the back of the outside men for New Zealand. Australia did that very successfully against South Africa last week in Pretoria. But uh, the sun has just started to poke through. The All Blacks arrived at the ground late. Apparently they were held up in traffic. And uh, there's the South African lineup. Jake White uh, is pretty confident in this match. Um, the All Blacks uh, have had a four-week gap uh, since that Lions series. But South Africa with a, a pretty settled team now. And I think they're, they're confident they have very close to the best team they can put on the field for this all-important against the All Blacks. Let's now join our commentary team at Newlands in Cape Town. Grant Nesbitt, Murray Mexted and Tony Johnson. So all in readiness now. The All Blacks kicking off their Tri-Nations effort in 2005 here at this uh, wonderful venue. Let's go sideline and get the latest uh, track conditions from the man on the spot, Tony Johnson. In as far as the all come out, it's a chilly afternoon. It's fine. Blustery wind will affect things when the ball gets up high, perhaps not so much down at ground level. Capacity crowd of 55,000, and the atmosphere is unbelievable. So Tana Umanga for the 15th time in a test match to bring out the All Blacks. Personally, for him, is 68th international. And this is a ground, as I said before, the All Blacks have played well at before. Seven times they've played here for five wins. And Daniel Carter back in today after missing that final test match against the Lions. And this is an All Black team very much back to full strength. So they're out there. And uh, as you heard from Tony, a swirling win. We don't really know whether it's going to favour one side or the other. And now we await uh, the spring box. Mm -hmm. 
A little bit of a delay here as uh, we wait for the Springboks. You know, there's been a bit of chatter during the week about how they go to deal with the Haka. And the feeling, Murray, is that uh, once the All Black Haka has finished, the Springboks will then take their time to get the track suits off and to kind of diffuse the emotion of the All Black Haka. It's the other thing, too, about South Africa is they respect the Haka greatly. And they think it is a sign of respect to respect it. In fact, so they'll stand and watch. Right, well, let's have a listen to this welcome for John Smith and the Springboks of 2005, a team that just in the last couple of weeks has filled the South African nation with real confidence. Yes, I heard Nick Mallett say during the week that they were going to wear their track suits and after the Harker they were going to take their track suits off. In other words, to do something together as a unit after the Harker had finished. So there's another twist on the whole thing. Shot there of Skulk Berger back into the starting lineup for the Springboks this afternoon. They've made those three changes. A real indication that Jake White these days has considerable depth in his squad that he's able to win one week and then make changes the next. Big Oster run 55 test matches. Another player back into the starting lineup. And now let's stand by for the national anthems of New Zealand and South Africa.
Boy, what an atmosphere here at Newlands in Cape Town as the All Blacks go back to our left and prepare to perform the haka. Well, I've never heard the New Zealand National Anthem sung like that before. It had a real African influence. Pretty difficult to hear the haka with the crowd uh, responding. But uh, plenty of passion there for sure. And now the All Black Reserve players head to the sideline, so to the spring box. And Rico Kier getting right into it. So there's the man with the whistle this afternoon, Andrew Cole from Australia. Touch judges, Alan Lewis, Donald Courtney from Ireland. Nigel Owens of Wales is the TMO. And uh, very shortly, the All Blacks 2005 Tri-Nations campaign will be underway. And Daniel Carter, such a star of the Lions series, will get us going. Newlands in magnificent order. There's been no significant rain in Cape Town since Monday night. So conditions really couldn't be better. Andrew Cole says, let's go. And the All Blacks go straight down the middle from the kickoff. Umang are up there to try and flick it back. It's been flicked back, though, to Brayton Bray Pulsa. And the Springboks make a few metres early on. January and De Montgomery on his favourite left boot and he spirals it away for touch. He's a favourite down this way. The Western Province man, Percy Montgomery. Good start, South Africa. They won the kickoff. They blew over the All Blacks and they cleared for touch. First line out, quickly taken. All Blacks win it well. Now it goes to Carter. Carter having a run early on. And he makes it inside Springbok territory. Kelleher gives it across to Collins. Slips the pass nicely to Umanga. And the All Blacks uh, making a metre or two. Again, Collins is there. This time he is held up. Quick ball again. Recycling smartly. Major floats it across. Carter's in a gap. Oh, beautifully. Now he tried to flick it back on the inside and Schmidt. Just a little misunderstanding. And John Schmidt has it for the Springboks. Coming fairly slowly for Neerkirk, the number eight. Kicked through by uh, De Villiers. Uh, Callagher goes in, and there was a late tackle. Might have just been an arm up in the tackle. I think it was uh, Rodney Sotialo. Might have actually come from the ruck, Nisbo. I think he uh, has penalised the All Blacks for playing the ball or trying to play the ball at the ruck with their hands. Just getting back to uh, the, the reason for the All Black delay. Just spoken to uh, one or two of the officials with the team they're about 20 minutes 30 minutes later here than they wanted to, to be because of uh, problems with the traffic and just the general bedlam outside the ground so it probably hasn't given them the best preparation for this test pretty competent start though really they moved the ball three times never broke their banners line until the third when carter slipped through the pass didn't quite go to hand this isn't going to be easy for montgomery it's a very tricky swirling wind first spring box to have scored more than 500 test points, Percy Montgomery. Awkward angle. Fair old distance too. It's a pretty good strike. Oh, it's a very good kick. First blow.
front of the box. Yes, he didn't try and force it. It was a beautiful strike, smooth. So back to halfway, and again the All Blacks will kick it away down the centre, holding up in the breeze, getting up and claiming it uh, very nicely was uh, Johan Smith, January, and Montgomery on the fingertips, and really just a repeat of what we saw at the start. It was a repeat, wasn't it? Exactly. So in other words, New Zealand kicking down the centre, opting to move away from where the South African locks are. Mialamu looking to throw quickly again. Carl Heyman right at the back. Just in front of him is uh, Richie McCaw. Then the two big men together, Williams and uh, Jack. And players coming and going all over the place. And finally Jack gets it. Callagher gets crunched and stays down too. And they might have to have a look at that. Um, Victor Matfield. Tony, you might have had a good look at it. Well, yeah, he hit him late. Charged him, absolutely flattened him, and I don't know whether Donald Courtney saw that. If he didn't, well... Uh, well, if he didn't, there's something wrong with Yeah, it. there's absolutely... He was the bloke well, who refereed well, last year, but he's coming onto the field now, I think. Well, I beg to differ. I don't think it was late. Well, it's high. Swinging arm. It was certainly high. Now, he's a tough little nut, Byron Kelleher. We're just talking, think, listening to the talk around the town uh, this week. The Springbok tactic is to put a lot of pressure on Kelleher around the first five Dan Carter area. Carter Kelleher will come for a lot of attention today. Everyone's talking about it. I reckon that's where they have to disrupt the All Black team. So there's an indication for you. Well, of course, if the All Blacks were to lose uh, Byron Kelleher, Perry Wepu is in the reserves. An inexperienced player, but Keller has responded well to the treatment. And I'm sure the All Blacks would have seen that in replay and wouldn't have been very happy with what they saw. Not sure what the touch judge was looking at. Must have been gazing into the crowd. This will be interesting. First scrum of the game. Heyman, good position. Ooh. It's all over the place. So they've reclaimed it. And uh, the Springboks have it. So it's been an untidy start from the All Blacks, but they've got it back. Kelleher, at least uh, Carter, showing good strength. Away to Collins. Somehow the All Blacks recovered. Ball uh, whipped out to Mills Moliaina, of course, playing out on the left wing today. Playing his fourth test match as a winger. Now Major across to uh, Mialamu. Springboks sprinting up in defence. Just kept. Which is OK as long as you keep a straight line. Now Umanga takes it straight up the centre. Kelleher slipped away from one tackle. Now Major puts it onto the boot. Montgomery, gear coming across. The bounce is not kind of the All Blacks. And it's finally kicked into touch by Brian Habana. Oh, it's tight, isn't it? It's tight. Not giving the All Blacks an inch, really. The, the, the defence is up like a shot, South African defence. Well, it looked like a pretty useful South African scrum. Although technicians would say that uh, the loose head prop was really boring in on the angle. Boss Durant. Last time these two teams played here in Cape Town, there were no tries scored in the match. 12 points to three back in 2001. There's a short throw from Elamu. Now Pretorius gets it, so one goes against uh, the throw. He's kicked it straight down to Leon McDonald, his own 10-metre line, McDonald. Now the Springboks back in possession. There it is for January, now Pretorius. They fancy their chances out wide. Schmidt. Now a burst here from Van Neerkirk. Close to the touchline, very close. Now Berger, driven back by a solid tackle from Jerry Collins. Now it's with January again, Pretorius. 
Long pass across to De Villiers. He can be dangerous. Montgomery. All Black defence holding up pretty well. They might have even turned this. They have turned over. They have turned it. And nobody back. Now Muliaina sprinting. He's leading the charge if he gets a good bounce, but he gets a poor bounce. And the Springboks have it. Eight metres on their own side of halfway. It's a fluid game to start with. Players uh, after each other, after the ball. Now here's uh, Habana coming in on the uh, angle. Chris Jack is down in back play. Here goes uh, a flat pass to January. Aaron Major's down too. Some early problems. Here's uh, Juan Smith for the Springboks. Boy, this is a long phase of play, this. Berger makes some ground. All Blacks drive and load. Now it's with January. Montgomery. Well, somebody had to kick it, I suppose, in the end. And Percy Montgomery has found the touchline. Well, everything going right for South Africa. First All Black scrum, they disrupted it. Upset it. The ball turned over. Second, first All Black line out was won by South Africa. Against the throw, so they really are putting the heat on. Well, this was the expected burst in the first ten minutes from the Springboks, and that was a very good effort by Bucky's Porter. Yes. Another short throw from Mialamu. So the line out not looking too good early on. As Van Nierkirk, the number eight, backs his way in. Now January, Pretorius with a drop kick. Happy to take the three. And the Springboks are up by six. It's a six-point lead. Carter this time goes down towards the 22 where Berger waits. He'll take on the defence and head to head with Collins. And you don't often win those, and he didn't. Pretorius away. Soyalo has waited back. McDonald's running it into Springbok territory. Good, powerful run by Leon McDonald. Finally taken down by CJ Funderlinder. Soyalo tries to make ground. Here's uh, Rico Gear. Now, can he link up? No support at the moment. He finally gets it from Kelleher. And here's a chance for De Villiers. They're not going to stop him. Sean De Villiers. And the onslaught continues. Well, something always happens around De Villiers. That's what they say. Been a great move into the midfield for this man. It was an intercept, it was a loose pass. The All Blacks made a scintillating break through Rico Gear. So it was taken on a bit here. Look at Gear here. Outside break. Beautiful. Kept the ball under control. Keller here took it. Looking for someone and found De Villiers. Well, Murray, I think there is a problem with Byron Keller, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if uh, Perry Wepu is on the field shortly. It was just an indication there that he's suffering from double vision, and uh, it was his pass that went astray, and De Villiers has sprinted to score the try under the post. The All Blacks find themselves 13-0 down, and as we speak, Keller is coming from the field. It's how the Springboks did it last week, didn't they, against the Australians? But, uh, yeah, Perry Wipu has got the tracksuit jacket off. And so this is a blow for the All Blacks. Well, it was interesting. It's 6-0 down, I thought. You wouldn't want South Africa to score another try if you're a New Zealand supporter. Well, what a big test for Perry Wipu. Of course, he made his test debut at the Millennium Stadium. And now he comes into the cauldron of, of uh, Newlands. Here's Berger again. Oh, ho, ho. take that. The Collins Burgo comp going on. I think uh, Ali Williams might have been involved there too. And he just ran a little bit upright and down he went. The All Blacks just haven't been able to settle into a rhythm yet, have they? They've turned the ball over a couple of times. The set pieces haven't settled down. 
We always thought the first 20 or 30 minutes would be crucial to this test. It's left them with a fair bit of catching up to do. Now Kevin Mialamu, line-outs shaky so far. You'd have to go to your money man, Chris Jack. He does just that. Wepu, first pass away for Carter. Here comes uh, Muli Aino and Montgomery. And uh, he called for the fair catch. Andrew Cole wouldn't have had a clue, but he got the call from the touch judge across on the far side, Alan Lewis. Well, it was good play. He sensed gear on him. Or Muli Aino, should I say. Montgomery's kick is not, not out. out. Wepu fields it. Now Carter. Might have just overcooked this a little. Comfortable for Montgomery. And he gets another fair catch. Well, there's the first indication of New Zealand losing a little bit of composure, I think, and wanting to restore it. Now trying to kick the ball into Springbok territory. It's contrary to how they wanted to start or how they did start by moving it. The marvellous thing about the side as it grows is its desire to keep the ball and attack. So I'm just interested to see those last two kicks. And the second one with no real plan, by it appeared. This was always going to be the acid test for this All Black team. After the Lions series, this time it's Williams who gets up. Wepu flat pass to Carter. Berger got him. Now Wepu away for Collins. Collins holds it up. Then he gets the pass off to uh, Soyalo. As the All Blacks are up towards the 22, Wepu's going to have a little dab if he can, but he is well controlled there by Durant. Now Soyalo away for Major. Back on the inside for McDonald's. Great defence. Not running from here with any real depth here, the All Blacks, as Collins. Ooh, I love that. I love that, the local crowd. Collins driven backwards. So Ayalo tries to make some ground in close. Now the ball comes for uh, Wepu. Andrew Cole had the arm out there, I thought, for the moment. Whether he's playing an advantage, I'm not oh, sure. Oh, the free. Yeah, no, penalty. I'll tell you what. New Zealand could do with three. 13-point lead, hometown advantage, confident team, crowd going berserk. <laughs> the pressure's on Daniel Carter this time. All Blacks here in uh, 1996. It was the final match of the Tri-Nations as we uh, go back to that ruck. And the Springboks are offside. We're down by 20 points to six and still won the game. And that was a hell of a match too, I recall. They just pounded away in that last 20 and eventually the dam broke. So the first kick of the day, Daniel Carter, with all this pressure. This young man seems to thrive on it. Here is yet another test. Excellent start by Carter. Daniel Carter kicks the penalty goal, so the All Blacks are on the board, and it's 13 points to three. He's kicked it deep, that's very interesting. Goes long, down to Wepu, and the little halfback spirals it off downfield. Good kick. Well, I'm sure the objective of that one was to have the South African ball into, into the line-out, and let's see what they do from it. Barkis Borta. Now January. No, they lost it. It was all rather in slow motion. I wondered exactly what was happening, but uh, Andrew Cole waiting for an advantage. There was none to the All Blacks. A little bit of concern about the first scrum. Let's have to see the second one goes. A lot better, wasn't it? Control ball. With the Carter, very flat kick, right across to Gear. 
Good work, though, by Habana. He had to hang on to Rico Gear. The All Blacks using that very flat kick that we saw a fair bit from the Lions on occasions. Here's Carter getting away. Oh, and he did too. He did well. And Molly Aina's flying, but Tulsa is the only man in the road, and he's got it covered. Some very interesting kicking going on here. Oh, that was very clever. That's good play. Both sides, good play. Well, the heat is on. Look at that, up like a shot from the blind spot. It's again, it's a tendency the South Africans have to rush. Jack, away for Williams, holds the ball up. Just hesitated a little too long and got nailed. So now uh, Wepu gets it away to Carter. They're charging at uh, Daniel Carter. And Montgomery has this lined up. It's going to be a kick and chase. No, he keeps it low. Easy for McDonald's. With interest. And he says to John de Villiers, I'm going to force you to kick it for touch. The man, of course, who started his uh, Springbok test career just last season on the wing. But uh, he only ever played 10 games on the wing. Believe it or not, they were all test matches. He is a midfielder. He's half back. He's half back. Well, there's a keen battle going on in these lineouts. Springboks have an edge for sure. 18 minutes gone. 13 to 3. Springboks lead. Neil Amu holding it up this time. Matfield gets in and gets his hand in front. They compete, the Springboks. Awkward pass for Pretorius, he gets nailed. Ball is loose, and knock-ons all over the place. First one by Green. That was just a brilliant jump by Victor Matfield. The timing was perfect, and he just got in front of Chris Jack. So, three in a row now. Well, no, not three in a row, but three on opposition throw. South Africa really competing in this area. New Zealand, of course, were dominant against the Lions. Very confident with their line-out at the moment, but under pressure now. Swirling scrum, free kick. Taken quickly by McCaw. He's got Suoyalo with him. Bounces out of one tackle, that was Pretorius. Takes it to the setup. ball is lost though. And it was lost forward by the Springboks. Good attacking platform here. Centre field scrum, 30 out. Well, they'll probably split... What are they going to do? Yes, they've split the attack and the opposition, therefore. My majority of players have gone away to the far side as the scrum swirls around once more. Yeah, well, they've disrupted the ball again, South Africa. Where to now? Muli Aina. Springbok defence holding up very well. Where to again? Got it off to Mialamu. Oh, beautiful pass to McDonald. Chance for gear. And he's nailed by January. But the All Blacks are showing a little bit of enterprise as the throw goes given quickly, but back they go. Well, great skills, slight of hand. They split the line. So Kevin Malama it was. So a conventional line-out to be thrown by John Smith. All Blacks not competing. Smith gets it back off Porter. Now Berger. Boy, he's taken some hits already. Maybe it's the blonde hair that flies back in the tackle, but he's been nailed several times. Here's Montgomery's clearing kick down to Gear. Quickly away for McDonald. Now the All Blacks get it across for Mia Lamu. Space. Now a chance for Major Carter. 15 metres short of the line. And McCaw puts his head down. Battling his way down. There's the five metre line. Now Wepu gets it away. Out to uh, Collins. Collins fires a lovely pass. Oh, lovely. Rico gears in. Beautifully worked. What a pass, Jerry Collins. Oh, outstanding rugby. New Zealand stretching the box. Well, that's the... 
the weakness of rushing defence when you rush up two or three players on the inside and you don't pull it off, you get space on the outside and that's what happened, that's what took the New Zealand team deep into block territory and this is the end of it. So they went hard to the left, they came back to the right. Collins, clever pass, Jerry Collins. Well, they've soaked up all the early pressure. They were 13-0 down. They've got it back to 13-8. As Rico Gear picks up his third test try, and that meets with the approval of the All Black fans here in this stadium. There's some great work by Richie McCaw and Dan Carter on the, in the lead-up to that try as well on the far side. They made really good ground in traffic just to keep the Springboks backpedalling. Never allowed them to set their defence when the ball came open. The interesting thing, actually, looking at the um, stats at the moment, is New Zealand have a possession and territory advantage. So the box really have done well with the possession they've had. Carter's kick. Bang on. And that is not an easy kick. The goalposts are swirling around quite a bit, but he's striking the ball very firmly, Dan Carter. Great kick under pressure. The All Blacks right back in it. Taken down by uh, Muli Aina, Wepu for Carter. Here's McCaw. This is brave stuff. Umanga straight across to Gear. All Blacks looking to make uh, space and Gear almost into the gap. Got past the tackle of Berger. Short past oh, Asolo. Skills. Crashing his way over halfway. Now Wepu again. Collins. Short pass. Carl Heyman out there. And they might have knocked it forward. Yes, they have. Well, they haven't lost the confidence to attack. Deep in their territory on their goal line. Two loose forwards in that beautiful movement. And they came unstuck at the end there, but Rico Gear looking dangerous again every time. January to feed. Away for Pretorius, missed it altogether. De Villiers has to tidy up, looking to get away from McCaw, does so. But not Suyalo. Now the Springboks having to get back and having to resort to a fair degree of kicking. McDonald's waiting for the ball to bounce up, it's not going to do it yet. Now he had no option but to kick there. And that's not out. That's not out. New Zealand will hold on to this one. Wepu fires it across to uh, Major. Major with a little kick for January. He's a very competent little player, this guy. He read it well, and so too did uh, Wepu. Now Heyman. All Blacks keeping the ball in motion. McDonald up the middle. He goes almost to the 10-metre line. It's all about ball and hands. He spotted Os Durant. No contest, really. No. <laughs> Wepu. Collins is coming on a run. Looking to get through, then he threw it off to Wepu. Nice work, oh, delayed brilliant. the pass beautifully. Carter, Umanga up the middle, hasn't got any support though. Just tips it back, scooped up. No, he missed it. Chris Jack thought he had it for a moment. Wepu again, major needs support, gets it from Wepu. He's held by Montgomery, gets rid of him. Gee, the pressure on, isn't it? Yeah. This offside. is amazing. Penalty offside. Boy, they're asking some questions of the box now. They are, they're attacking the line hard. And just seeing the runners coming back on the angle. Coming from wide, coming back inwards. I just think the All Blacks have got that rhythm and a bit of composure that they were lacking in the first 20 or 30 minutes where they were very unsettled at the start of the game. And you can just see the communications back and guys are, are looking for holes. And remember, that all of that came about because the Springboks lost ground when Andre Pre Pretorius dropped a regulation pass simply because he was looking up at what was coming at him. But New Zealand really doing well keeping the ball in hand, asking the box to make tackles. In fact, they've had to make 35 to New Zealand's 21, which is significant. At the end of the day, that takes its toll, particularly as the game goes on. It's a fast and furious pace as well. And there's only three penalties in this game so far. 25 minutes gone.
Boy, it's been one heck of a test match. 13-0 down. And the All Blacks now here with an opportunity to level it up again. We're in a perfect position watching this ball directly behind in his lineup with the goal post. And it's a goal. Beautiful kick again by Daniel Carter. So there it is, 13 all. Now they're giving it to the box. What a way to take the crowd out of the equation too. They were celebrating big time. Here's Wepu again. Got his pass off to uh, Muli Aina and they're going to start another counter-attack from near their own uh, 22. Another penalty. Springbok's getting a little frustrated now. They can't get their hands on the ball. And starting to infringe and uh, Big Oss. The man called that time. The All Blacks took 15 minutes really to settle in. And don't forget, too, they lost their number one halfback in that time. All Blacks contesting, at least uh, because it was All Black throw, and over the back it went. Here's uh, Muli Aina, taken in a good tackle by number Habana. 11. Number 11, onside. Ball is coming for Wepu. Decides to have a bit of a dab himself. He's got so away. strong, isn't he, in close quarter play. And got the pass off to Williams. He couldn't hang on to it, though. And Collins goes thing. in and gives it big time. Oh, I love those sorts of tackles. Well, those tackles are, are worth a lot when you consider that the Springboks have just had a couple of uh, pretty intense physical matches in the preceding weeks. But you wonder, too, whether the strength of Perry Weeple around the fringes is a good way of counteracting that rushing up defence that the Springboks employ. Well, he certainly showed some strength there. Looked as though he had been nailed by two or three of the Springboks and still managed to wriggle his way through. January, he's a very different sort of a halfback. Nippy. And uh, again, the Springboks kicking it down into the All Black 22. And uh, McDonald, nice looking kick here. Nobody back. No, he had great vision though, McDonald. He looked hard. January and uh, uh, closing in quickly on Montgomery and he finally gets it away and Montgomery as you could see had a fair bit to say to January it was all in slow motion and the All Blacks were thundering down after it. It was a tremendous kick by Leon McDonald the spiral punt and uh, well could have gone anywhere after could have gone into touch but as it was they get a net gain. Well he's in a line out still battling. The last throw they got it, but not where they planned. Over the back it was McCaw because the New Zealand jumper was taken out. McCaw is the jumper. Springboks weren't expecting that. Flat pass to Major. Leave it out. Major takes it to the 10 metre line. Springbok eight, territory. Wepu short to Mialamu. Always manages to wriggle through a few tackles. Now another short pass this time to Collins. Met by Smith. Payback time perhaps. Carter. Ball lost and a crossover there from the All Blacks, so penalty to the Springboks. Jean de Villiers, well, he's the crowd favourite. And it's very interesting seeing that both De Vet Barry and Joubert come from this area. And neither of them are in this team the two traditional centres for many years. No, it's a brand new centre combination this season. Jacques Fourie and Jean de Villiers went pretty well in the first two of the first three test matches against the Wallabies. Now Smith. Borta did it with some difficulty but he deflected on the Springbok side. Yes, the lineup was under pressure so now they're going to have a crack around the fringes. Haven't seen this yet from the spring box. Cleared away pretty quickly. And uh, away goes Smith, but he's well contained. Loves to run with the ball, Juan Smith. Now Montgomery up. Again, running into the heart of the All Black forward pack. Tony Woodcock. Here's another drop kick. Pretorius has another go. 
sort of thing you expect to blokes wearing white jerseys, not green. The drop is back. Well, of course, the Bok, great exponents, and historically, De Vitt, Ra, Nas Porter. Yanni De Beer, Yanni I suppose, De Beer, yes. <laughs> five in one game. Absolutely. Mm, we've got a history of it. Short drop off. Oh, great kick. Oh, mm. almost a collision. Wasn't in the end taken, and the chance here for the Springboks for near Kirk. Now they've set it up nicely. If they can get this, oh, it's been stolen. No, it's a penalty. Just keep an eye on the boots and what have you here. Things getting a little bit testy, but Andrew Cole is uh, right there. So uh, even though he was right there. Alan Lewis is, uh, is going to tell Andrew Cole. Now, this could be a reversal of penalty. Let's see. I think January went in. Now. Penalty was given, all right? Yeah, yeah. And everyone went on. You came in from a fair distance to get involved there, so just be careful. And you, you be careful. You all right? Just play the ball, all right? Let's give up the ball. Give up the ball when it's a penalty. Give it up. So the penalty stands. Just have another look here. McCaw goes in. Yeah, let me tell you what. He was entitled to go in, in my opinion. Nothing much really happening there. So, the upshot is that Percy Montgomery has the opportunity to put the spring box back in front. Uh-oh. Lucky it wasn't a conversion. Still only got a minute though, hasn't he? Yes, I suppose in his favour, TJ, he doesn't go that very far, does he? <laughs> oh, there it goes again. Well, now he might be struggling. He might be running out of time here. Gert was Aden who would have blown it up if it was an all black kicking at goal. <laughs> he's under real pressure to get rid of this one, and well, as a result, he's hooked it. Just remember back uh, in 1976 when Sid Going was lining up a shot right in front of the posts and uh, it fell over a couple of times and the referee said, well, you're not having another go. Yeah, that's right. Put it off him, though. Oh, check this. Here's a drop out. Again, it's for Gear, who's in wide open spaces. Gets it off to Rumunga. Rumunga puts it on his boot and it puts it out. But they're just trying things, the All Blacks. Oh. And the Springboks were caught out again. They were. There was space on this side. Gear was right on the touchline. The kick was pinpoint accuracy. So, Springbok ball. Let's see the competition. Half back, step out, step out. Matt Field is about uh, number, coming forward to number two, and it goes up beautifully. He's an outstanding line out forward. Mail Armour putting the heat on. Oster went down. Coming for January. Montgomery's going to kick, and they almost got to him. They did, but I'll tell you what, they upset his kick, I'm sure. Rico Gear chased by January, and he scrambles it out. So in the finish, I think it might have been partially charged. Well, in the finish, that's a 30-metre gain to South Africa. And Metfield, another line-out. So where's this one going to go? Bucky's Vorta, perhaps? Right at the Smith back. goes to the back for uh, Smith. De Villiers having a crack in midfield. Springboks still have it with Thury. Now Smith again. January keeps it going for John Smith, the captain. Well, 
This is better from the Springboks. Now they get it away to Pretorius. Well, there's nobody out here for Nierkirk. A lot of black jerseys. Playing advantage, all yeah. blacks offside. Offside. Now Berger. Durant. And they're not going to get anything out of that, so it'll be a penalty. Very few penalties, really, in this first half, Murray. Seven, indeed. And the half draws to an end. So, Percy, with the opportunity to put in South Africa ahead by three going into the, the break. And just over three minutes remaining on the ground clock here. Montgomery's kick. This time he is on target. Second penalty goal for Percy Montgomery. And the Springboks leading just before half time here at Newlands. 16 to 13. Thank you. Carter's kickoff. Now, Berger's keen to get it. Who's he going to run into this time? Leave it black! This time he's able to... Uh, Fighting. Fighting. ...recycle it. January for Pretorius. That's a good and kick. That is a good kick. Spiralled it nicely for touch. So, New Zealand ball. I can't imagine Graham Henry would be too happy about the All Blacks having given up the lead again, having played so well to get back on level terms. Just maybe guilty of playing a bit too much football inside their own half. Williams claims the line out. Still about a minute and a half remaining in this uh, first half. Opportunity for the All Blacks to launch another attack. Umanga hands it off to Major. And is well taken by Furi. I know it was excellent defence. There it is, though, for Collins. Rips it away. Carter having a crack. Nice tackle by Matfield. Wepu gets back. Umanga. Oh, change of direction. Sensational. Five metres on the all black side of halfway. Got a lot of defo forwards defending out here. They have handed on by. Uh, just can't quite control it. Now they get it. Tony Woodcock's going to have a run. Big fend on uh, Matfield. And it was lost forward. Well, every little opportunity last searching for New Zealand. Jake White, he wants that whistle to go. This is a good thing. And uh, Matfield just managed to hold him up long enough. going in the scrum now and there's no we haven't had that many scrums have we not too many New Zealand putters in January just uh, a few seconds remaining in the first half Springboks will be happy enough I think to take the three point lead to the break is uh, Pretorius slips it on the inside to De Villiers who's been well looked after turnover, turnover. Wepu brings it back now he gets it away Williams so the All Blacks have one final chance here as he tries to fire it out the back. Again, Tony Woodcock. Let's see if he can put a fin on someone else. No, nicely taken by January. New Zealand ball low, under control. Richie McCaw looking left and right. Now he delivers the pass. Carter, deep. Pass to Major. Major contained by uh, Fury. Pops the ball up. Now Carter again. Collins, short pass to McDonald, still danger time for the Springboks. As the siren sounds, All Blacks using the ball well as uh, Heyman sends it across to Mialamu. Umanga, did he knock it on? Apparently not. Here's Woodcock, he gets he it hard by Berger. Now the Springboks can counter attack. Smith. January. Hounded by Soyalo, Polsa decides that we've had enough of this. 
puts it into touch, and uh, that is half time here at Newlands. And it's the Springboks ahead by 16 to 13. Rico Gear getting the important try to bring the All Blacks back into contention. And it was one try apiece in that first half, but the drop goal of Andre Pretorius, which gave the South Africans a 6-0 lead, proving the difference on the scoreboard in the end. 16 plays, 13, just one try apiece. There was some bone-crunching defence from both sides, and the rush-up of the South African defence causing real problems for the All Blacks, who also showed a lot of composure. Let's go to the highlights. And it was all South Africa in the opening 10 minutes. Byron Kelleher appeared to be taken high there by Victor Matfield, and he was seeing double after that clash. Some very good play by the South Africans. They were able to get in behind New Zealand at the back, get the territory, and then convert that into points. And here the drop goal for Andre Pretorius, giving South Africa a 6-0 lead. Rico Gear has been very impressive coming from that right wing. He set up what appeared to be a possible try for New Zealand, but dispossessed was Byron Kelleher and the intercept specialist, John de Villiers, streaking away, and the conversion giving South Africa a 13-0 lead after just 10 minutes of play. But great credit to the All Blacks. Although they were struggling in the line-out and also the scrum, they were winning at the breakdown and forcing a lot of turnovers. And this try brought New Zealand right back into the game. Rico Gear getting his third try. So it's been an epic test match at Newlands. South Africa with their noses in front by 16-13 to 13 at halftime. More and the kick-off for the second half after the break. A furious pace in the first half, the Springboks hit the ground running, but then the All Blacks came back to level at 13-all. A late penalty by Percy Montgomery sees South Africa ahead by 16-13 to 13 as we rejoin our commentators, Grant Nisbet. So it is Only a fascinating time. position we find ourselves at. Turnover's interesting too. Big advantage for New Zealand in turnover area, 11-5. Yes, it will be a fascinating second 40 minutes for sure. All Blacks have looked dangerous with the ball in hand. Springbok slightly different tactics. Well, it's an incredibly competitive match. This the last, the one last week dry series match was also competitive. This to me seems a little a, a half a gear up on last week. Andrew Cole checking with Tana Umanga. All Blacks are ready. Springboks are ready. Second half underway. Pretorius kicks off. Neil Amu's waiting for the All Blacks and he slips past Matfield easily. And they set it just out from the 22. Wepu, who was on the field after about 10 minutes, gets his pass away. McCaw having a run. Showing good power too, but now driven back by Joe van Niekirk. And the All Blacks about where they started again. And uh, the kick in the end made by... Leon McDonald and a good one too. I think that's an example of the difference between the two sides. When the Bok take the ball in the kickoff situation, they're looking for Percy to clear 60 metres straight away. New Zealand are asking the question of the Springbok defence before you know, the, the resulting kick to touch. I just wonder whether the wind might have changed uh, late in the piece. It seems though it may be favouring the All Blacks a bit more in the second half. It's dying, isn't it, Tony? Yeah, but it's certainly switched around a bit as well, Murray. First line-out throw of the second spell to John Smith. He's uh, gone pretty well so far, and he does again. Oh, not a good uh, throw down, though, from Smith to January. They didn't knock it on, though. Now here's a free taken by Umanga, who went uh, fairly high over the top, and the All Blacks might have turned it here. I think they have. No, hang on. I said there was a use of hands in there. Richie McCaw dived through. Get up, number four, get up. Get up, number four. Thank you very much. See you later, buddy. Well, no, you be careful. It takes him a real battle, Richie McCaw. Bruised and battered after every game. 
got He's out. He's 100% right, commitment, man. Just be very careful. Good, sir. You had the penalty. So, Vaki's This is going the other way, I think. Yep. It looks like uh, Vorta and McCaw are on the deck. And I think Vaki's uh, Vorta might have a little uh, nick just near the eyebrow. Yeah, it looks to me like that. He might have copped one. And he turned the penalty around. Yep. Lack of discipline there from Borta. Just wanted to go on with it. Let's have a look at this line Don't come in, number two. Don't come in. Just a bit shaky in the first half, mm. the All Black line out. Here's the first one for Kevin Mialamu. Oh, that one too was. Con leave it green, leave All Black's it. got oh, it, though. Still got it, just. So, Wepu. Carter standing very deep. Umanga. Umanga looking to get through in midfield, but he's uh, well contained. Now here's Carter, oh nice. lovely pass, what a pass, Rico Gear looking to line up Ali Williams, no oh, he let the pass go a little late, and it went forwards. Ooh, there was a try to be taken. Just held on, a millisecond too long. Yes indeed, Rico Gear, outstanding break once again, this man is hot, he's got the gear. Especially when he's up against Bucky's Botter. No, but he beat his man so easy on the inside sure, of the last yeah. defender. But it was outstanding creation of space in New Zealand. They run a decoy runner close and then wide too, often a loose forward standing behind. You do get the feeling they really do back themselves out wide, don't they, to outstrip the spin box? It's one of the marvellous features of um, the modern game, Tony, is the skills of loose forwards, tight forwards to throw missed passes, long passes, spiral passes, the whole trip. Play resumes for Nierkirk. Going sideways. Grabbing a cross field. The ball's there, waiting. January taking forever to get the ball. And in the end, it's Montgomery's kick, which is going to set up for McDonald. Right on the halfway line. Going to try and keep it in hand here. He doesn't mind taking it back to them. Both Mooli Aina and McDonald very good at that. You kick the ball to me, you've got to stop me. Is their style. But the change of direction also that the two players have without seemingly losing pace. Four minutes gone, second half. Smith. Jack gets up, but uh, Matfield uh, just got it ahead of him. Durant has a run. January. Away for Smith again. Springbok captain having a good game. He is taking it up for sure. Coming for January pretty slowly, mind you. Oh, he ran into his own bloke. Flattened by his own man. Well, that's classic. Very good tackle in there, too, from the two all black props to stop the charging Springboks. Both Tony Woodcock and Carl Heyman involved, and you run into them, you're not going to go much further, are you? Nope. Just have a look at this, though. January waits forever, and then just as he gets the ball, somebody, one of his own players, nails him from behind. Two of them, I think, actually. Here it comes. Look. Oh, big oh. Oss. <laughs> big Oss. Yeah. Just, big just Oss and Matfield. Just arriving in time for the replay. Yeah. Yes, Oss, exactly. Oss, Flanagan, Matfield over the top. <laughs> right, play to resume. No. Scrum, pretty good scrum this time. With who gets it from Soialo. Having a bit of a probe, still going. Oh, nice beautiful. pass to Umanga. Looks for some support. Gets it from Carter. Carter is only 10 metres short. Now they get him. And the All Blacks will set it for Wepu. Away for Collins. Looking to... Could see the Springboks coming up too quickly. Had to hold it. Did the right thing in the end. Wepu. They're going to go blindside again with McCaw. On the inside for Muliaina. Again, they drive it down. Now Wepu, a little more space this time. May just going to kick. Oh, look at this. They were waiting for it. Williams has stayed out there for a reason. He's got the height. Now Gear fires it back on the inside. It's gone through uh, Smith, though. Turn over. And the Springboks have got it back. And they needed it. They're only hanging on, though, aren't they? And they've got a penalty. Well, they are. I mean, the threatening side is certainly the, the side with the black jerseys. The possession still about 50-50. Yes, I think that change you're talking about, Tony, might be about to happen. Steen Camp, this massive man. Nice to run to 
may not be on for much longer. Here's the cross kick, and they've kept Ali Williams out there so they can win the battle in the air. Well, he did. He lost and kept it on New Zealand side, but lost control of it. That's a pretty average sort of a throw, but it's going to work out all right for Nurkirk. Taken in a good tackle by Carter. That's good go forward, ball a little bit slow perhaps. Here comes a kick though, Montgomery's going to bang it away and uh, I'm not quite sure what this is all about. McDonald hoping it'll go all the way and it does. Richie McCourt to drop out, we haven't seen that for a while. That'll be Dan Carter, 22 dropout. And just a little short one again. This one bounces around. Who's got it? Springboks. Now Fury. Gap opened up just briefly for him. Closed pretty quickly. Penalty. Well, you've got to question the wisdom of these short dropouts. They, they got back to 13 all in the first half, and they tried one, and it came skew with, and eventually the Springboks put a penalty over. Now they've made a good start to the second half. A reg regulation drop kick down the other end just to put the Springboks on the back foot. Surely that was the wise option to take. Now they're facing another three-pointer. Just trying to work out what that penalty was for. I think he's, uh, he's got Richie McCaw, I think. He was the player draped around the ball. So this uh, shouldn't be a problem for Percy. So it's a six-point advantage now for the Springboks. Eight minutes gone, second half. And that change, I think, about to happen, Tony. Yes, uh, Stian Camp coming on, and it's off Durant to come off. And big roar for this man, he's a very popular player. We haven't seen a lot of him in New Zealand, Stian Camp. But he's considered one of the rising stars of the game here in South Africa. Big fan following for him. Yes, he's a local boy. He went to Palm High School. Just about uh, 30 minutes out of Cape Town. Kickoff made by Carter. And nicely taken down by Matfield, who again has been a dominant figure in this game. Now the Springboks try and put a drive on the All Black Pack, and they've done pretty well up till now. First really big attempt at it, and they get a penalty out of it too. The All Blacks collapsed it in uh, the view of Andrew Cole. Well, it was a very effective drive. They stay, stayed united. Looked like about a seven-man drive, and the body positions were low. And New Zealand battling to hold it. And this is the result. Plus a couple of them got wrecked, I think. It's been a good ten minutes for the Springboks. Remember, they had a good ten minutes early in the game. And they've come out in the second half. Increased their half-time advantage by three. And now they have this attacking line out, 10 metre line, all black territory. Well, one could say they might emulate the second, the first half. They scored six and then a, 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 a try, converted try. Well, that would shock a few. Again, Smith finds uh, Matfield. Then have another go. Void by the previous attempt. Yeah. Now they go to grounds. Matfield back for Berger. Roll Driven away. back. Let it go. Waiting. No, January. Another zero game for Scalp. Yeah. De Villiers shoveling up wide for Fury. Montgomery in. Free up to Pulsa. Covered by Major. Pass goes off to Gear. He in turn gets it off to Wepu. All Blacks under a bit of pressure. But uh, Wepu is strong enough to hold up. Yeah, numbers over the ball, pretty impressive. And Collins gets the pass away. That's very well done by the All Blacks. It's not going to go out, though. De Villiers just in All Black territory, running it towards Chris Jack. 
And he's going to get taken to the touchline. That's a good work again. Jerry Collins. Collins. Yeah. And Repu was there with him. Or was it Carter? Dan Carter. Dan yeah. Carter. But I'll tell you what, it was impressive stuff because it turned Springbok ball into all black to throw. Yelamu goes quickly, but the whistle blew. Oh. He's ordered the line out be retaken because there was a ball boy on the field, I think. Half back. Didn't want him crushed. Springboks thought they had a turnover. Stay out. Jack flicks it off to Wepu very quickly. Now Collins on the charge. Boom. Now Wepu. Yeah. Oh, Carter. <laughs> Took his eye off the ball, Dan Carter. Mistake. Well, you've got to say the All Blacks just might be a bit guilty of handing this back to the Springboks here. Well, we don't see too many mistakes from Dan Carter. Mounting. The pressure is mounting. <laughs> Springboks certainly taking it to New Zealand. Perfect opportunity to attack. Nobody to the right at all. They've all gone across to the far side. Oh, great oh. Yeah. Well, what's he got them for? Well, when, when, it, when an All Black scrum dominates opposition, Springbok, whose ball it was their loose head, remember? And you drive over the top, I find it very hard to believe. Unbinding is a suggestion, maybe. Well, that was just a good scrum. Yeah, that's what I thought. That was just a very good scrum. Yeah. Andrew Cole, maybe under a little pressure. Montgomery then, from right out in front, to give the Springboks a nine-point lead. <laughs> it's his fourth penalty goal of the day. Still just a try of peace, but the Springboks with a handy lead. 14 minutes gone, second half. Kick off. Oh, January. Ball swirling in the breeze. And uh, Pretorius gets his kick off downfield, and it's a good one. Yes, they found touch well, South Africa, when they've kicked. Gain great yardage consistently. Still have an edge in the possession stakes at 53 per cent. Number three, stepping over. Number three, step over. New Zealand well ahead on rucks and malls turnovers. Mialamu looking to keep it away from where Matfield might be. Players coming and going. Again, Jack clean off the top for Wefu Carter out to Umanga. Umanga looking to drive his way through and centre field. Back quickly to Wepu, looking for the runners, finding Carter. Slips the pass to Mia Lamu, and he drives his way up towards the halfway line, does the hook. Leave it, Green, leave it! Wepu. Carter again. Sticks it on the boot, but uh, Montgomery got a favourable bounce, charged. Now the All Blacks can't cash in, though, as Pulser gets it, and he bangs it off downfield. to tell you, you can see for yourself how much the crowd enjoyed that. Well, it was a terrible kick, charged down. Look at the way it was scooped up by Tulsa, and he spotted the gap and drilled it into the corner. The alarm is going to go way to the back. The call got absolutely nailed. Absolutely nailed. I've got it, though. Oh! Wepu sells a dummy. Here come the All Blacks on the counter attack. Woodcock has it. Running into Whoever run again by Puri Wepu. He really has stepped up to the mark. Now Mialamu lobs it out to uh, well, towards McCaw. Can't bring it under oh. control. And the Springboks are in again. Penalty, penalty. Oh. Ruled out. Ruled out, though, 
are offside. Oh, I'll tell you what. Had that been awarded, it would have been a big ask for the All Black side to come back with the. Well, it's the only way they look like scoring a try, Murray. A, uh, an intercept or or maybe just pressurising the All Blacks into a mistake. But boy, the All Blacks have considered themselves lucky there. Well, they can. But actually, if I think back a couple of weeks against Australia, they pulled off two of those intercepts. They've had one against New Zealand today. There was only one try scored by South Africa last week, but it was a good try. Yeah, Andrew Cole had the arm out early on. Well, that could be a big moment. Nine-point lead. It would have been 16 for sure. So the All Blacks swing back onto attack. Up goes Jack, drags down another one. Looking to feed it off to Mialamo. They put it on the ground, did they knock it on? Crowd is howling and they've got their wish. Well, those are the balls you've got to win. It was interesting, though, to see New Zealand was about to drive for the first time, I think, from a line out. Official crowd figure, 49,118. It's very precise. Springboks trying to make ground around the fringes. Here's January, looking for Pretorius. And that's a little bit off the side okay, of the ball. So we're pretty much back to where we started from, New Zealand ball. Barkley's border has gone down, so uh, this might delay things a little. Gives everyone a chance to uh, reassess. 18 minutes gone, second half. Mialamu throws. Again, Jack. Wepu. Away for Carter to Major. He's well held up. Big oh, defence in midfield by the Springboks. Now, can the All Blacks recycle it? No, turnover. Ooh, that's great ball, South Africa. Springboks have it. January's going to kick himself. Floats it across field. Well, the crowd are applauding, but really, after all the hard work done by the Springboks to kick the ball out, it's a bit of a sin, really. Yes, I think so. Great work at the breakdown, though, wasn't it? That swarming, rushing up defence is starting to inhibit the All Black back play again. So New Zealand just winning their line-out ball. This well, time it's Williams. Much easier that Again time. Again off the top. No effort to uh, drive today. Here's a short pass. Soyalo, well taken. Ball might have been turned again. Yes, it has. Here's Matfield having a go. De Villiers. Oh, he got nailed. Now it's Pulsa. Slips the pass to Fury. He kicks it. And kicks it straight at McDonald's. Will be Springbok ball. Well, the heat is on. Eight point dif differential. Sorry, nine point differential. Great work uh, by Scott Berger in there. Straight, surely. Pretty lucky to keep that extra cell, isn't it? And now battling a bit here, January. Ducks under one, but then gets taken by Collins, who drives it back. Now Berger, waiting to go. Leave it now, leave it! Jack, come on! Jack, come on! Pulsa. Oh, lining up a drop kick. Andre Pretorius. Well, they've had three shots. Well, one successful. I would have thought that would have been the last resort. A drop kick there, but mind you, if you look at the score, 22-13, and they could snivel three points. <laughs> just make it that much easier for South Africa with 20 to go. Substitution being made for the Springboks. Fleury Dupria is on for Ricky January at halfback. Another good game by January. He is a real terrier. Yes, he's lively. They talk about him being the best in the world at putting pressure on his opponent. The kick off, country. Oh, the kick from the 22 down to Montgomery. 
This time he uh, puts it onto his right foot, which is not as normal as preferred, but it's been knocked on. Play to continue. Going back to the knock on Andrew Cole. Boy, those mistakes are really starting to pile up. Into the last 20 minutes. Gonna make it pretty tough. Ten handling areas so far. Rodney Soyalo wasn't sure what the bounce of the ball was going to be like. He ended up charging it and knocking it on. Now, here come the Springboks. Pretorius, they've got numbers here too, Montgomery. But Muli Aina read it well. And, uh, I think he's ripped the ball free too, McDonald. And I think he has, yes. New Zealand ball turnover. Great work. And, and nobody uh, back. Wefu sends the kick off downfield. And uh, what a good one too. It would have been better, Looking for it really to bounce back in field. Yes. <laughs> It was good defence by the All Blacks. They really, it was a case of each man knowing what the other was doing, numbering up well, and then the strength of Leon McDonald to get in there and take the ball off him. Who's half back? 18 minutes to go on the All Black side. They don't win too many. Here's now Collins can straighten it up. I know he gives it off to McCaw. McCaw inside the 22. Good chance here for the All Blacks. It's again Collins. Mialamu. Here's the call from Muli Aina. Now it's with uh, Chris Jack. Away goes uh, Wefu to Mialamu. Got his way through, and uh, they're just 10 metres short of the line. Wefu again calls. Uh, the call is from Williams. All Blacks looking to quickly recycle. They have a second shot at it. Now Carter. Carter in trouble. Well, they got blindsided. Let it go three. One side green. Last three. And having to regroup again. Yeah, they stretch those still. Eamon lobs the pass off to Jack. Boy, they're coming up quickly, the Springboks. Steenkamp gets a little bit of a tattoo. Now Carter, and he's overcooked this one, I think. Too big. So the Springboks can take the scrum where the kick was made, and that's what they've opted to do. Well, the, the ebb and flow of ascendancy moves back in New Zealand's favour a touch. Now Dupria, new man on the field. Pretorius has got forever to kick this. Any sign on the bench, Tony? Any movement on the bench? No, not really, Nisbo. Players away warming up down in the dead ball line, but uh, or in the dead ball area, but it doesn't necessarily look like anyone might be coming on as a sub just yet. Well, 16 minutes remaining. Time is ticking by. New Zealand need to score. 22-13. Mialamu. Well, it was way short of where it was intended. Again, Matfield was able to hook in. De Villiers has a go, can't get past Carter. He had to go and get him again. Some crunching defence going on, and there's, in the meantime, Matfield slips the pass to Steenkamp. Taken down by uh, Woodcock. Now here's Smith. Springboks rampaging here, just 15 metres out from the line. Blindside with Berger. Driven back in the tackle of Collins. Now Dupria, here comes John Smith. Oh, what a tackle Smash. by Mialamu. Mialamu ironed him. Pulsa, Pretorius with a drop kick, and he's missed again. And the crowd aren't happy. Carter quickly from the 22. Rodney Soliano's coming very, very he's quickly. Got some gas, Rodney. Oh, yeah. nice piece of obstruction there from Pretorius. Percy didn't know what to do, so he kicked it down the middle. I tell you what, some of these Springboks are running out of puffs. Percy is one of them. Now it's with Umanga. 
Looking to get away, can't do so. Now McDonald feeds it across to uh, Gear. Gear kicking, but Tulsa is in good position. And uh, that's off the side of the boot. Boy. Percy Montgomery, he might need a hand tone. He got, he's run out of power. Totally. Yeah, and I, I, the, the, you've got to question the wisdom too. I mean, the Springboks are on top on this game. There's no question. But uh, going for the drop goal in that situation... I mean, the All Blacks will have to score at least twice to get back in front if they are to in this game. But I just really wonder. Mind you, if we've gone over. He would have been a hero. Yep. So it's uh, one from four. Step out. Don't come in. A couple of the All Black reserves are now stripping down. We might see some changes shortly. And Darren Whitcomb, I think, will be one. He might be one. Here's it across the all-black line. Oh, beautiful pass on to Soialo. Collins has to put it on the boot. The chase is on, and it's in touch. Oh, there's been some nice touches, but they just haven't been able to finish. I think they've just made too many mistakes, haven't they? At crucial moments that have just arrested their momentum or given it back to the Springboks. I mean, they're still in the hunt here. They've just got to make the passes stick and just, you know, Take the right options when they present themselves. That Marty, was a pass from Umang, it was a beauty. Marty Holler, another one with the track suit off. Matfield, away it goes for Smith. Runs straight into Collins. Big clash of bodies. Opens the way for Pretorius to kick. Mully Aina. Oh, he's knocked it on. I'm afraid those are the mistakes that are going to cost the All Blacks this test match. Well, it's big pressure. It's a style of game that South Africa have played. They've put pressure on New Zealand when they've had the ball. Here come the changes. Greg Somerville and Darren Wood come on in the front row. Kevin Mialamu coming off. And uh, I think it might be Carl Heyman. And in the backs, Joe Rokothoko is on. And uh, just trying to see who's coming off. I think it's Leon McDonald's coming off. So Muliaina will go to fullback. And a hold up too because Jerry Collins is down with a knee problem. And 12 minutes remaining. Well, it's been an incredible second half. South Africa with a, a small edge. New Zealand still threatens so much. Every time they get the ball and move the ball, they look dangerous. New players on the field now for the All Blacks as uh, Pretorius gets it across to Montgomery. And again, the long kick downfield. And Rokothoko going back, and he'll force it. A restart from the 22. So if that was the intention of Montgomery... Worked out well. Perfect. Quickly taken by McCaw. Gets his pass off. Kicked ahead, though, by uh, Rokotoko. Really couldn't get his hands to the ball. So the All Blacks have turned over possession once more. Leave it black. Now to Villiers. Well, to Jack. He's turned in it. Oh, turned it the other way. It. He realises he's made a mistake, uh, De Villiers, but there's still pressure on the All Blacks here. Leave Just out from their 22. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Wepu away for Major. Now De Villiers gets another chance. See if he can make a better job of this. No, he's going to hand it away and let uh, Percy Montgomery do the kicking. I think that one's out. So Ialo waits. Now the All Blacks looking to mount an attack. Whoops, he lost his footing. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, no. Ripu now fires it back to Carter. A little bit aimless. Now Bracken Paulson. And that's out. Not very unusual, really, Bracken Paulson. He plays on the right-wing side, but he's uh, very much favours his left boot. He's done well this afternoon, though, hasn't he, with those kicks downfield? He has. He's done very well. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. 11 minutes remaining. All Blacks need to score twice. Stay out. Darren Whitkin, his first throw. He 
goes short to Williams, gets it back Whitcomb. Then fires a long one across to Carter. Out to midfield where it's uh, Umanga looks for his support. Springbok defence has held up well in the second half. In fact, the All Blacks have been scoreless. Leave a green roll away. Wepu. Carter. Muliaina. Quick hands required here. Now Rockafoco. Joe gets a bit of space. Flicks it back on the inside to uh, Woodcock. Just kept it in the field of play as uh, Wepu fires it off to Carter. Again, the defence coming up very quickly. Long pass across to McCaw. Rico Gear back to McCaw. Montgomery snaps it up and runs it into touch. The one thing, the All Blacks, uh, even if they don't win this game, they'll want to score again because last year bonus points decided this competition. So even if they can't win the game, they'll be desperate to finish seven or under. It's about to happen, Tony. Here they come. Carter. Carter looking to straighten. Leave a green rock! Leave it! They've been uh, sweating on that inside break of Carter's all day. Away goes uh, Wepu, again showing his strength. Gets out of a couple. Now they need a halfback. Looks like it's going to be Chris Jack. Carter again. Looking to step again. Oh, that's a bit high. It was high. Cole said it was all right. Oh, he's let a couple of high tackles go today. Here's Collins. Makes good ground, Jerry Collins. Ball taken off him. All Blacks getting a little bit of forward momentum. Collins is going to have another rip. Wrong way for. Now it's away for Carter. Bit of space this time for Muliaina. Carter gets it back. Again, the defence closes them down and it's been knocked on. Well, where were the arms in that tackle? Well, it was great defence. It looked to me like it was going to be a try, but they closed it down. Well, the Springboks down all over the place. Joe van Neerkirk over the top. And another opportunity. The All, all Blacks have certainly created some chances. And a half minutes remaining. Ooh, big scrum. All Blacks put the pressure on at scrum, scrum time. Big scrum. And they really have disrupted this uh, Springbok yeah. scrum. And the ball will be turned over for Wepu to fire it away to Carter. Carter looking uh, for Rocker Foco, and he's just oh. overcooked it. He, he, he penalty, though, Nisbo. They were out uh, offside, out in front of the post, so the All Blacks should get a three pointer out of it anyway. Well, they've got to take the three. Yeah, and take the three. Back themselves to come back. Take the three, converted try. And Carter just he, he has goal kicked really well but just the accuracy the little touches haven't quite been there today for him have they he's a great great little player great young player I should say not a little player but he, today he's just one or two of those things that he normally does so brilliantly haven't quite come off but he hasn't missed a shot at goal yet chance to bring up uh, 300 test points for Daniel Carter just as 21st international. All Blacks looking for their first points here in the second half. And uh, he duly puts them through and becomes the third. All Black to score 300 or more test points. But more importantly, in the context of this game, it's now a six pointer. Yes, it is. And it's Springbok to kick to New Zealand. To the All Blacks. Well, Daniel Carter has uh, joined an elite group, hasn't he? Grant Fox, Andrew Mertens, but he's considerably younger than both of them at this stage, 300 points. Pretorius. Oh, great kick, plenty of height. Williams lining this up. All Blacks need to secure it. They do so. Now Carter for Major to Rocker Foco. Once again, showing that... Uh, willingness to run the ball out from their own line here they go again here's Greg Somerville oh, oh. Good work. what a sidestep Somerville now it's with Soyalo oh great pass Puts it out to uh, Whitcomb now it's with Woodcock all the big fellas out yeah, here yeah all the boys showing their twinkle toes now give it to the backs Ripu now for Carter 
that major. A little bit off the side of the boot. And uh, Montgomery, oh, yes, no, it's out. Just look for a moment as though he come back in field. So 22 16. Seven points needed by New Zealand. Just under six minutes left. Springbok ball, so they'll be wanting to take it in and drive it, I'd imagine. It's been a long time since we've seen that. So let's see how much heat goes on the Springbok line out here. No, not too much. Easy for Smith. Matfield. Oh, well done, Suyalo again. Now to Priya, Montgomery, oh, step back inside the 22, suddenly realised a mistake, and away goes uh, Pretorius. Got his pass off to De Villiers. Shroud oh, locked on. on by Polsa. All Blacks putting them under big pressure, and they've got themselves excellent field position here. Well, bad news for the All Blacks, though. The captain's down, and he's looking in real pain. He is, too. Desperately trying to get back to his feet. He's OK, I think. Boy, he took a hell of a bump there somewhere, Tana. He's just walked away. He's trying to walk whatever it was. He's just trying to walk it off. <laughs> it does look like that. I agree with it. It's him. like I'm not going to give in to this whatever it is. Yeah. Well, at least he's walking. Well, been remarkable performance by the Springboks as far as how tight their style of game has been that's the first handing mistake they've made in the second half just the slightest of knock-ons but a good one for New Zealand it gives them a great attacking position not one person on the blind side the whole seven backs are on the open side Springboks trying to disrupt the scrum but Wepu clears it off to Carter back inside to Rocker Foco burst past a couple gets to the 22 lays it back now Soialo Wepu again, short pass for uh, Whitcomb. Again, he lays it. Now it's with uh, Carter. Carter looks on the inside for Muliaina. There's some big defence coming up here. Springbok's desperate to hang on. Here goes Wepu having a bit of a snipe again. Now Somerville. Leave it green. Umanga having shaken off the injury. Places it down. There's Richie McCaw. Tried to slip the pass underneath. Oh, and over. it's been turned over. Umang is down again. I thought as he ran, he, he looked like he had a limp as he ran. And then he sort of half slipped through the tackle, he's slipped not, through the gap. He's not keen to stay down. But it's uh, quite a pronounced limp now. Well, the All Blacks smashed the last uh, Springbok scrum down here well, I don't know whether Umanga can stay on he might uh, no, it looks like Luke he's McAllister I think is, is going to need to come out of the park boy this is a bit of a blow in the look for the long term prospects of the All Blacks and the Phillips Tri Nations but here comes Luke McAllister well Three and a half minutes remaining. Okay. The All Blacks can disrupt again. Yeah, you'd, well, I'd be surprised if they could do two in a row against the Springbok Pack that's as together as they are. Well, let's see. Oh, good hit for Springbok. Oh, it's uh, swirling Not again, bad. but uh, they've freed it off to Pretorius. And he's made 50. a good clearance. Yeah, a very good clearance. Well, this line-out becomes one of the key moments in this game, doesn't it? Well, with three minutes remaining, it's vital. McAllister at centre. Molly Aina trotting over towards the right-hand side of the field. Big through, throw by uh, Duran Whitcomb, and he did it well for Jack Wepu. They're going to look at Rowan oh, knock deliberate down knockdown. By... Deliberate knock on. Cronier. Sorry, yes, we missed Jacques Cronier coming on for the Springboks. He's a big man. 
The All Blacks have got time here, just over two minutes. Carter will plug it for the touchline, and it's a good kick, almost to the 22. So, very good attacking position. Line out. This is the moment. And the crowd's getting impatient for a final whistle. Jerry Collins. And he's got it. They've used him for the first time today. Whitcomb for uh, Wepu. Wepu gets it back. Rockafoco. Just two minutes remaining. Away now for Carter to Major. Again, it knocked down again. And this time it's not deliberate. It's all chewing up the clock, though, isn't it? It is indeed at one minute, 18 seconds to go. Still just the two tries scored in this game. Another dramatic All Black Springbok Test match. Just a minute left. Wins away from home in the Tri Nations are becoming very difficult to achieve. Well, you can hear the All Blacks complaining at the professional fouls, I guess. More time wasting, I suppose. All Blacks last chance. Carter, they're going to put the little kick in. Chasing and after it. And it's been snapped up and kicked away downfield, but he hasn't kicked it out. So while it's still alive, the All Blacks are a bit of a chance. Carter. Nailed from behind by Havana. It's with Wepu. Ball knocked down and knocked on. And the knock on by the Springboks. The All Blacks might have time for another scrum. It's already been awarded. Couldn't get the pass away. Did it go forward? I think it did. Yes, it did. Andrew Cole's got the arm out. And the Springboks only have to boot it out. And the game is over. The Springboks are the victors. Well, Jake White and his team are... Delighted to a man, absolutely delighted. It's been a mighty victory for South Africa today, a mighty victory. New Zealand made much of the play, but this team, South Africa, played with passion, total commitment, and a never, never say die attitude. And they just grafted a victory and held on at the end when the All Blacks were firing everything they had at, and they were too strong in the end in defence. What a victory for South Africa. So the Springboks. It was a brutal test match, and it's the same score as we had last week in Pretoria. Jake White still hasn't lost a test match on home soil since he's been the national coach. 22 to 16, and it was South Africa's defence that stole the show in the second half. Back to wrap up after the break. Sevens Telecast.